friends in the previous problem h plus ion and oh minus ion was given and they had asked us to calculate the ph of the solution but this problem is related that it ph of a solution is given and they have asked us to calculate the h plus ion concentration students i will read the problem for you ph of a solution is 4.7 its hydrogen ion concentration is option a 7 into 10 raised to minus 4 option b 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 option c 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 and option d 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 students we know that ph is equal to minus log of h plus ion concentration ph of the solution is given to us and we need to calculate the h plus ion concentration so ph is 4.7 so 4.7 is equal to minus log of h plus ion concentration or log of h plus ion concentration is equal to minus 4.7 to calculate h plus ion concentration i should take the log on the other side if i take the log on the other side it becomes anti log of minus 4.7 anti log of minus 4.7 cannot be calculated because minus 4.7 indicates the character is also negative the mantissa is also negative to calculate the anti logarithm at least mantida, mantissa part should be positive hence we need to convert the negative mantissa into positive and then we need to solve the problem i will tell you how to convert it h plus ion concentration is equal to anti log of anti log of minus 4.7 character is also negative the mantissa also is also negative so the mantissa can be converted into positive by adding and subtracting one for example students minus 4.7 can be written as minus 4 minus 0.7 i will add and subtract one since i need mantissa part to be positive i will combine i will add 1 plus to that minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 plus 1 will be equal to plus 0.3 minus 4 minus 1 will be equal to minus 5 now students minus 5 and this part is positive and this can be written as 5 bar 0.3 5 bar indicates that the character is negative and the mantis is positive therefore minus 4.7 will be equal to 5 bar 0.3 so i can write that is equal to anti log of 5 bar 0.3 whenever we determine the anti logarithm the number after the decimals are generally seen we know that log of 2 is 0.3 so anti log of 0.3 is 2 so we need here it is 0.3 so anti log of 0.3 is 2 so 2 into 10 raised to the character part character is minus 5 hence it will be 2 into 10 raised to minus 5 therefore option d is the right answer this problem is related to buffer solutions which of the following mixtures can be used to prepare buffer solution option a CH3COOH plus CH3COONA option B HCOH plus CH3COONA option C CH3COOH plus NH4Cl option D NaOH plus HCl before solving the problem I will tell you what is a buffer and then we'll solve the problem buffers are the solutions which resist the change in ph upon addition of small amount of acid as a base that is they do not allow the change in ph even though if we add small amount of acid or a base to the buffer solutions buffer solutions can be classified into three types acidic buffer basic buffer and neutral buffer acidic buffer is a mixture of weak acid and it's a salt with a strong base please concentrate students acidic buffer is a mixture of weak acid and it's a salt with a strong base basic buffer is a mixture of weak base and it's a salt with a strong acid whereas a neutral buffer is a mixture of 
that means it may be as it is a salt of weak acid and a weak base with this brief introduction or a basics we'll try to solve this problem the question is which of the following mixtures can be used to prepare buffer solution option number 1 just look at it. option a is acetic acid plus sodium acetate acetic acid is a weak acid and sodium acetate can be prepared by a reaction of acetic acid and NaOH that is it is a mixture of weak acid and sodium acetate is a salt of acetic acid so option a is the right answer because it is a mixture of weak acid and it's a salt with a strong base so it will see why b c and d are not the answers also formic acid is a weak acid but ch3coona is not the salt of formic acid hence it is not a buffer option c acetic acid is a weak acid but ammonium chloride nh4cl is not the salt of acetic acid and option d strong base and a strong acid hence option b c and d are not the right answer whereas option a is the right answer student so this is a problem related to henderson's equation we know that buffers are the solutions which resist the change in ph upon addition of small amount of acid or base buffers can be acidic in nature or buffers can be basic in nature hence ph and poh of acidic or a basic buffer can be calculated by using the henderson's equation i will just read the question for you the dissociation constant of a weak acid is 1 into 10 raised to minus 4 in order to prepare a buffer solution with a ph is equal to 5 the salt over acid ratio should be option a 4 is to 5 option b 10 is to 1 option c 5 is to 4 and option d 1 is to 10 students i will tell you the formula or the henderson's equation then we will try to calculate the salt by acid ratio so for an acidic buffer ph is given as ph is equal to pka plus log of concentration of salt divided by the concentration of an acid since weak acid is given the buffer should be acidic in nature so i can use the formula ph is equal to pka plus log of salt by acid if ba weak base was given to us then instead of ph we we we, we are supposed to calculate poh and then we used to calculate the ph of a solution so ph is equal to pk plus log of salt by acid i can use this formula then guys what is this pk k is dissociation constant of an acid and it is the measure of strength of an acid then what is pka pka is equal to minus log of ka if you look at the question the dissociation constant of weak acid is 1 into 10 raised to minus 4 that is they have given us the value of k we need to calculate the value of pk then we need to substitute here and they have given the required ph also so we have the ph we need to calculate pk then we can easily calculate salt by acid concentration so pk is equal to minus log of k that is equal to minus log of 1 into 10 raised to minus 4 this is equal to it is of the form a into b log of a into b is log of a plus log of b so i can keep minus outside log of 1 plus log of 10 raised to minus 4 students you are aware that log of 1 is 0 log of 10 raised to minus 4 that is it is of the form a raised to x and log of a raised to x is x into log a so it becomes minus of minus 4 log 10 and log 10 is 1 so guys minus log 1 is 0 minus 4 log 10 log 10 is 1 hence minus of minus 4 that is equal to plus 4 hence pk is equal to plus 4 friends we need to calculate the salt by acid concentration i have the value pk i have ph value also so ph given is 5 pk is 4 plus log of salt by acid concentration if i keep log of 
salt by acid. If I take for this side, it will be 5 minus 4 that will be equal to 1. I require salt by acid concentration. So, salt by acid concentration is equal to if I take log to the other side, it becomes anti log of 1. Students, you know that log 10 is equal to 1, hence anti log of 1 should be equal to 10. So, this is equal to 10. That means the salt by acid concentration should be, I can write 10 as 10 over 1. Hence, the ratio should be 10 is to 1. Therefore, option B is the right answer.